of Australian music who reunited at Selena's in Sydney this week to get flared again. I hate the music, cause every time I hear that melody. Oh, remember JPY, what a spunk. Didn't they used to call him Squeak or something? But these days, JPY is nothing more than... I knew the day I was uh, putting that down that it would fly to me. So Did it all come back to haunt yes, you? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Did you wish you never recorded it? No, no, not at all. Mm -hmm. No, I've, I've, I've never stopped doing any of those songs and uh, it'll be the same again tonight. When you walk down the street Why do you think people want to remember the 70s? I, I really don't know. Um, uh, I, but I don't think it's just the 70s. I, I think that um, people are uh, trying to get back to the music of uh, the late 50s and the 60s. I mean, the amount of fans that The Doors has these days is just bizarre. You know, that's, but that's, that's the way music is. They really do want their raw rock and roll. I'm wearing satin. Mm. I've got a little bit of it. But the 70s was good time music, I suppose. That's what it's about. It's not so much, I don't think, the fashion, because it was, for me, it was a bit horrible. Mm. Looking back at it, it was okay then. How do you feel looking back at those old clips? All right. You know, I think, gee, was that at Young Ones? Jump in my car. What do you think of the likes of Daryl Braithwaite and John Farnham and, and how their career... Stinks, stinks. It stinks, you yeah. hate it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, that's great. That's real good. I mean, it was fantastic when, when John happened. And then when Daryl did it, it's like, oh, great. You know, it's, it's good. Because let's face it, they're good acts, good singers, mm -hmm. the works. So why not? Why shouldn't they? Why not you, then? Um, well, if I can sort of get out of my workshop long enough, it'd be all right. But I'm stuck there with it, you know. The, the business. Well, last weekend at Selena's in Sydney, it was like stepping into a time warp. Remember blue satin flares, a silver lame, mirror balls, and everything else really excessive about the 70s. I think it's just sort of looking back and thinking what a good time you used to have. I used to go to discos three or four nights a week and just really raged and had an excellent time. And it's just fun to, to relive it. I mean, the music is good. Well, maybe, but fun. Where did you get these outfits from? Paddy's Market in 1975. Really, really, truly. We used to wear them to the Tech Mulray concerts back then. Well, I think the 70s are going to be popular in the 90s. Yeah, the 80s were pretty boring, so you've got to have some sort of outrageous style of dress. I think body shirts, Hawaiian shirts, and poly waffles will definitely be back in vogue soon. Money, money, money. Must be funny. In a now, how can you consider a 70s party complete without a good dose of ABBA? Brought to you by Be Yawn Again. Now, if Be Yawn Again isn't a big enough blast from the past, how about this guy? Yeah, still got a fan club. Still got a fan club. How does that make you feel? Do you feel? Do you oh, feel yeah, old? Fun. Do you no, feel? No. What do no. you feel? Well, as uh, Ted Mulry said the other day, he's 40. Well, unfortunately, I have to admit that I'm 40 now, but I certainly don't feel 40. I'm doing things at this uh, particular time in my life that uh, I wouldn't have done probably if I was 20, 20, 20 21 or something. Because she's, because she's my. Well, now that we've opened the Whatever Happened To file, you're probably wondering whatever happened to William Shakespeare. He's still performing, but he has a car detailing business as his financial backbone, while Ted Mulry has his own mechanic shop. And as for JPY, well, he's now doing radio and kind of sums up how his life now seems. 
Whereas I used to stay up for 4.30, now I have to get up at 4.30. I think that's pretty bizarre. Oh, yes, yeah, some of the gang getting flared again, and uh, good luck to them. JPY, of course, doing very well on radio at the moment on UFM.